What's going on guys storm 6678 here back with another tutorial so as you can see I'm in after effects and uh, we got a uh, We got a little bit of a tutorial for you here. So uh, as you can tell by the title We're going to be doing excuse my phone. That always happens. We're gonna be doing a um dots behind text tutorial uh for those of you who don't know what dots behind text are it's super simple there's two effects you add it's glow and halftone um i'm exposing the secret uh i don't know why the fuck it's a secret it's so fucking dumb but apparently it was a secret like when people first started doing it i discovered i learned how to do it on my own and i don't do it like like personally when I do it myself I do it with different shit but um I yeah I, I just learned how to do it like on my own by like messing around with after effects if I'm being completely honest like I, it didn't take anybody telling me how to do it I just discovered how to do it but I'm just going to be making a tutorial because it's just like as a lot of guys have commented on my uh, 3D text tutorials it's it's just stupid that I I don't even know why I said it's like a editing community secret like it's not a secret it's so simple and if you're like good at editing you know how to do it um, regardless for those of you who don't know how to do it I appreciate you for stopping by please make sure you like comment and subscribe um, for more videos like this and like editing videos if you if you're into that anyways so as you can tell there's uh some halftone behind this 3d text uh we're only going over the specific way to make uh this these dots behind the text okay we're not going over how to motion track the text we're not going over how to make the texture for the text i already have tutorials on that okay so you can go watch those tutorials they're on my page uh how to do 3d text and whatnot um that includes everything but i'm going to show you how to do this text so uh right here um i have my if you can see where my cursor is i have my top layer and my bottom layer when i turn my bottom layer off that's when you know like that's where the uh half tone and the dots come from so I'm going to delete that and all I have right now is the top layer so everything's motion tracked right press play let it render out and it's a nice smooth cinematic with 3d text okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this layer we're going to press ctrl d on our keyboard that's d as in Daniel D as in D Denarius, like a D, you know, Dick Cheney. Anyways, so go to the second layer, right? The bottom layer underneath your original layer, and you're going to rename that back. So I rename it back so I know which layer I'm working with. So you're going to go to that. Uh, you're going to make sure you're in the effect controls back, and you're going to want to make sure that you have element as an effect. That's the effect that makes this 3D, basically. So I'm going to be on back and all I'm going to do is I'm going to do S underscore glow in the effects, right? Double click will add. You can also take this and drag it onto it, which will add it. Um, but S underscore glow will add it. You can load a preset um, if it does want to load. Uh, I don't know. Let's just do this just for the example. After glow. You can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but actually, no, nah, let's just go back to normal. Sorry, I'm wasting your guys' this time. All right, so so I have glow on the uh, under layer. I'm going to turn the brightness up a little bit, turn the threshold down so that it's a little bit bigger. And then you're going to go to S underscore halftone. And you can do half tone, but... What I want, excuse me, but what I want you guys to do is S underscore halftone color. And you're going to add that. And then this is where the magic happens. So you're going to click on, I click on RGB. And then where is it? Um, 
so the dots are not appearing right that's because we need to turn right, you see right there we just need to turn the brightness up a little bit and you need to play around with these settings up oh, here's the threshold so the more the threshold is the less you're gonna see so like when it gets to one that's when you won't be able to see anything so you want to turn that mump like that bitch down right and look I'm starting to get the dots right uh, it kind of it, it looks like shit right now but um, you, you just need to play with it you know like I can turn the glow width up a little bit I can turn it down um, just to make the uh, text like like make the width I would adjust the width if you want more dots behind the text turn the glow width down a little bit make it look nice um, literally just play around with these values until you find something you like like whatever anybody else says about your edits yes take it like with a grain of salt like accept the criticism but if you like how it looks that's all that matters at the end of the day all right so I have these dots behind the text I want to make sure my halftone I'm on halftone right now I want to make sure my halftone this is it with uh, CMY but I want to make it RGB and the RGB gives it those dots all right and then what I do is I turn that frequency like up a shit ton. I mean I don't I, I don't want to do it like that much but I turn it up like between I would say between 100 and 200 um, I would turn it up you know and then you sharpness saturation make it lighter uh, dot X dot Y just play around with the settings you know uh, so that's that and um, yeah so uh, right here in the beginning when so like when it's coming out right so this reflects the um, like the way that this looks is solely because of the background or the texture I'm using for the text so if you don't want it to look like this like like this like blob uh, what you can do is you can keyframe the threshold all right so you want the threshold to get to a certain point at here let's see when it looks good so it looks good there so I want it to the threshold to be 0 0.07 there but before when it looked like ship I want the threshold to be bigger all right so when the thresholds bigger you can't see that as much right see that so my threshold is 0.86 now and I keyframed it if I uh, open this up the effects the s underscore glow right here is the two keyframes so when it starts the key the keyframes like the blotch isn't terrible and then it gets bigger and bigger and then you can see more of the dots all right it's super subtle with this um, I'm gonna turn the threshold up turn the and then uh, keyframe the brightness from here to here turn the brightness up a little bit there we go maybe turn the threshold down a little bit but yeah honestly like at the end of the day like you see like now it looks like shit again turning the threshold down makes it look worse turning it up just maintains those like small little dots there it's a super quick animation right like the scene isn't gonna last more than a second but when it plays out like you'll see the dots you know I know this is a terrible example to like see the dots but um yeah no so just like play around with it nothing's gonna be perfect your first time you try it the more and more you do it the better at it you'll get I'm sorry that this clip is kind of like a shitty example I meant to do a different clip but um this is what I pulled up so I just wanted to I just wanted to show you guys basically how to do this like it's super simple right like I don't know why I, like I said no oh, this is a secret no it's fucking not a secret it's literally s underscore glow and s underscore halftone halftone color more specifically like so simple and then just keyframe it how you want it to look like you see like right here there's nothing here 
So I would take that S underscore glow and I'd keyframe the threshold down, right? So I can actually like see something, you know? And then it would be different like all the way through. But yeah, regardless, uh, S underscore glow, S underscore halftone, uh, play with it however you want, however you see fit based on the texture you use. Like the reason why, if you guys want to know like more specifically why like it kind of looks like shit with the texture that I'm using is because I'm rotating the world. Uh, if I go here to the first top layer and I go to element and I go to render settings, physical environment, and uh, rotate environment i'm rotating this environment like a ton see like the value goes from zero to 240 it looks like um at the end so if you like don't like how the dots look maybe make this a smaller value right and then it'll last longer in different places and then you play around with the keyframes it's uh, the main point of this tutorial is explaining that it's a hundred percent up to you and your creativity to make this look how you want all right obviously i would spend like uh, what it, 11 minutes has passed like i would spend a lot more time on this uh personally if it was for like a team Taj or something like that i'd make sure it looked like really good but for the purpose of this tutorial i really hope that this helps so uh, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, any support's appreciated, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.